models. So say you want to take your model and your animation into Unreal Engine or Blender or any other program um, that does those things. You can see I've got this nice little um, tilt and wave here. You're going to go up, you're going to do File, Export. Now, it's important that you, <clears throat> before you do this, that you go to the Animation tab and that you make sure all of the animations you want have been added. If your animation wasn't called, then you need to go open it up and make sure it's imported into, see how these two weren't called by the software because I do them with commands. So they weren't in the actual um, file. So make sure that you have the animations that you want loaded and that you've gone to the animation tab. If you just go to edit and you think, oh, animations are going to be there, Blockbench doesn't load the animations until you click the tab. Okay, so now we've got this guy. We're going to go up to file. We're going to export. And it, you have to use G. I think it's an ITF. It might be an LTF. But I think it's a GITF. And then in here you have export animation. You also have export size. So really keep that in mind because the scaling between Blockbench and Minecraft versus Unreal and other stuff is pretty dramatic. Uh, so just keep in mind those numbers. It's typically a factor of 16 because we're doing Minecraft stuff. So when you go into your other program, you're going to use that 16 in, on your import. And then that's it. Um, you can do the groups as well if you want, and it can do bones and other stuff. Uh, I think that's what this is doing. I'm not positive. I think it's doing groups of bones. Um, and then animations is the critical part. And then when you send it, it's going to have you save it. And then each program that you import it into is going to be different. So you just need to go to that, that program and import this file. Now, if it doesn't allow the import of this file, then it just it won't work. Uh, this is the only format I know of that will allow you to do the animations in it. So you save it, and then you import it, and then that's it. So thanks for watching.